Hello everyone. So let us learn about curved beams in this video. So what is a curved beam? In general, the axis of the member subjected to loading will be straight. But when the axis of the member is curved, rather than being straight, it is called as a curved beam. Due to this uh, curvature effect, the neutral axis will move towards the axis of the curvature. So there will be a shifting of neutral axis. Now what is a neutral axis? So the axis where the stresses is zero. So this shifting of the neutral axis makes the stress distribution hyperbolic where the magnitude will be different in both the places, that is the extreme ends. Now what you see here is an example of curved beam. The C hook which is in blue color and also the smaller one is also an example of a curved beam. Due to the hyperbolic distribution, the magnitude of the stresses at the inner and the outer fiber will be different. Whereas in your normal beams, the magnitude will be same, only the nature will be different. So since the magnitudes are different, we have to find the stresses at inner and outer fiber using separate formula. Now this is a normal beam where the axis is straight. As you can see, the centroidal axis and the neutral axis is coinciding with each other. Now from the neutral axis, the fibers, that is the outer and inner fiber will be at the same distance. So the magnitude of stresses at the outer and inner fiber will be same. Only the nature will be different. It will be either compressive or tensile on the sides of the beam. Now the one this is shown here is a curved beam example. Now as you can see, the member is curved and it is having a curvature axis, that is the O, which is the center of curvature. Now your neutral axis and the centroidal axis will be different. So let R is the radius of your beam, that is your radius of your centroidal axis. Whereas Rn is your radius of your neutral axis. This is where the change comes in. In the previous case, both were same. Now R is the radius of your inner fiber. R0 is the radius of your outer fiber. Y0 is the distance between the neutral axis and the outer fiber. And Yi is the distance between the neutral axis and the inner fiber. These two are having different values in this case. E is the eccentricity, which is the distance between the neutral and the centroidal axis. Now this image shows the stress distribution which is hyperbolic and you can see the magnitude at the inner and the outer fiber is having different values. The stresses at the fibers are found using the formula sigma bi is equal to mvyi by ae ri and sigma b0 is equal to mvy0 by ae r0 where m is the bending moment, a is your cross-sectional area. The other values have been already discussed. Now R and Rn can be found with the help of data book formula and using that we can find the other values and find the value of sigma B i and sigma B naught and the nature of the stress has to be finalized with the help of the diagram. So using this approach we can find the stresses acting in the curved beam. Thank you. Happy learning.